from Jesus. Today's word is reciprocity. Is recipro is reciprocity. Don't ask me to do a damn thing that you wouldn't do for me. Hello everyone, and specifically to the women, this is for you as you navigate through life the best you could. Now I have a TikTok video that I want you to watch, but before I play the video, I want to say this to you. Self-preservation usually manifests as self-love and self-awareness, which I say, this is me, are resilient barriers to any devaluing energy that unfortunately might be directed at us from men whose low self-esteem hinders any attempt at humility, acceptance, and respect for women. Now I want you to remember this whenever you're interacting with the opposite sex and you feel that the intent is to devalue you, to make you feel unworthy. Like why does it make men so angry when women love themselves? Let's talk about how men devalue women they cannot access. Men participate in sour graping when they devalue women that they cannot access. Men participate in sour graping as a coping mechanism for when they cannot access women because they are either unable and unwilling to provide. When a man sees a beautiful woman who is awake to her worth, he will knock her down a peg so that she will lower barriers of access to herself, so that he will then be able to access her because his levels of investment are very low. A man may have the means to invest but not enough desire and in the end it's the same thing. So a woman who recognizes and charges her worth is very problematic to a man who is unwilling or unable to provide. Bestie, trust me that the man who will make for a good husband will not be found trolling a woman's dating page. He will not be found in your comments section telling you that you are too ugly to this to that to get provision from men. The husband that God put on this earth for you will not be found degrading you. He will not be found telling you that your standards are too high. He will not be found haggling for your worth. When a man sees a woman, he already knows the levels of investment that she is accustomed to. A low effort, low investment man is just hoping that she doesn't know it. Don't doubt your own worth when these men devalue you because in the end, they still want your attention. They are hoping that you let your guard down so that they can finally access you. These men will tell you that you will grow old and single with your cats and your dogs. But really, what's so wrong with that? I love dogs. And if I wasn't allergic to cats, I'd have them too. If being alone means peace without men who haggle your worth and devalue you and degrade you, I would rather be alone. I said what I said.